Don't call me black no more, cause it ain't facts no more We destroy it mentally, don't whip our backs no more When I tell that to my people that say I'm hating your folks And I ain't never burn the cross, I hurt nobody with rope They make mockery of us, they say our people are a joke Come from living in ghettos, I'm a strong out of dope Question, why do we always set the love with the folks? She brought us up and we on vote to get them changed on my folks, huh? Making to most got us working in fields I stand up picking cotton and plants and meals They got us running up and down on the football field But you bet not with this cause you in slavery still You can put your hands up and you can still get killed Look at you for being killed and you retire with me Hey, what's going on, the I don't, cause I don't believe what this white man taught us. Hey, that's good, man. That means you in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a lie. For sure. But you say you don't believe in that white guy. So what do he really look like? What do he really look like? You know? I think he's I think just a spirit. You think he's just a spirit? I'm going to show you that he's he more than a spirit. I'm going to show you that too. But I'm going to show you what he look like. Revelation uh, 1 and 1. Watch this. I'm going to show you. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him. To show unto his servants. So the revelation of Jesus Christ. So it said the revealing of Jesus Christ. It's a revelation right. meaning, right? You go up in these Christian churches, they don't reveal nothing to you, but they pass their collection plate around. You know what I'm saying? So watch I'm gonna reveal to you. And I ain't gonna pass no plate around. I'm gonna show it to you because you're my brother, right? You need to know this. Read what you got. Uh 14. Watch this. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Bring it up. His head and his hair. So I want you to pay attention to that beast that you said wasn't God, right? He said his head and his hair. So the hair on top of his head is his head. And his hair is the hair on his face, right? What color is the hair on his head and the hair on his face? Black, right? Watch this, read. We're white like wool. Sad. But the Christ of, I mean, the, the hair color of Jesus Christ in the Bible is white like wool. That's right. So is his hair white? You already said it wasn't, right? But is it like wool? The white man got wool hair? No, 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 no. What does hair look like? Huh? Yeah, like a uh yeah, like camel's bag over there. Straight, straight stringy hair, right? So what nation of people got wooly hair? Don't talk. That's why I told you. Hair like wool. What nation of people got hair like that? Black folks, right? So white people don't have wooly hair. Chinese people don't have wooly hair. A Rab. A Rab got wooly hair? Like a sheep? No, man. You ever seen a sheep? Like what? No. Your son right here that you hold, and you, but that's hair like wool. You ain't never seen an A-Rab walk around with an afro, right? Keep going. Watch this. As white as snow. But Christ's hair was white as snow, and it was like wool. Like an old man today, right? Read. In his eyes, whereas a flame of fire. So Christ's eyes are like a flame of fire. Now, when, uh, what was his first miracle, by the way? You know? Christ's first miracle. Remember he was at a wedding and they ran out of something to drink. And he turned this something into something. You know what I'm talking about? You don't know? Turn water into wine. That was his first miracle. Because we drunk a lot of wine, but in moderation. But I'm going to show you the prophecy. Uh, read that. Genesis 49. This is the prophecy that show you that why Christ's eyes was red. If you go ask a pastor, hey man, why did say uh, Jesus' eyes was red? They ain't going to be able to tell you nothing. They're going to freestyle for you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Come up the top of the head and just say he was hungry that day, right? He was sleepy. They're going to say something. Read what you got. The book of Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. So Christ's eyes is going to be red with wine because he drank a lot of wine, but in moderation. It's not a sin to drink alcohol or drink wine. Right. But you're not supposed to get drunk. That's the problem. That's right. You go to these so-called churches, they frown upon you for going to the liquor store, right? right? You can go and buy alcohol. It's not a problem. When you get drunk and now you want to beat your wife, now you want to do some bad stuff, you know what I'm saying? That's where the problem come in there, right? Go back. Uh, Revelation. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So white like wool, read. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So he got red eyes because he drunk wine. So wool of hell and red eyes, right? So we describing somebody. I want you to keep it in your mind. Keep it in your mind, read. And his feet 
like unto fine brass. He looked down at Christ's feet. So back in those days, they wore sandals and things, right? They ain't have Jordans and they ain't killing each other over the shoes like we do today, right? So his feet look like what? Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Different shades of brown, man. Like your skin color right now. You you are looking bronze up in here, right? But let's see how bronze Christ look, read. As if they burned in a furnace. We stand out here in the sun too long and we already copper colored. What's gonna happen to us? What color are we gonna turn? We're gonna look like we had been burnt in a furnace, right? The same thing with Jesus Christ, right? He was a very dark skinned man. Now, he was a Jew, right? You heard that before. What do the Jews look like? Jeremiah 14. They look like us. So the people over there in, in Israel, Israeli, they look like us? Them, they look like white people and Arabs. Most of them. If you Google a Jew right now, you're going to see a guy with a hat and some curly hair on the side. He don't look nothing like us. He look like a Caucasian. But the Jews of the Bible look just like me and you. We just read a Jew. Christ. But I'm going to show you the rest of them. Read what you got. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah morning. So right now we're reading about the tribe of Judah. If you take a look at this sign right here, where you see yourself on this sign, by the way? Where you see yourself? You could be in one of these, but where you see yourself? What's your father? He would be a so-called what man? So-called black man, right? Ah, it's so cool. Christ was the same thing, right? Read with this. Read what you got. Judah morning. So right now we're reading about the Jews. They come from the tribe of Judah. That's where the word Jew comes from. Judah, right? Jacob had 12 sons, which is what you see right here. Those are our kinfolk, right? Read. And the gates thereof language. So right now, we're reading about a time when the Jews didn't have any leadership. Just like today, the so-called black man, we go march in the streets, right? We protest them, right? We don't have no leadership. You understand? Who we go to when the police shoot us down? Who we go to to get justice? Do we go Do we go out and, and we brother to brother go get guns and get justice? It don't work like that, right? They'll drop a bomb on us right now if we even thought about picking up a gun, right? Read what you got. They are black unto the ground. What color are the real Jews? They are black unto the ground. Meaning different shades of brown, because you a Jew and I'm a Jew, but are we the same shade of brown? Me and you, are we the same shade of brown? I'm a little darker than you, man, so we ain't the same shade. So it's just letting you know that we the same, right? We all made from the dust of the ground, right? That's right. Give me King Solomon. You ever heard of King Solomon? King David's uh, son, right? He was one of the wisest king, one of the richest king of all time, right? Let's see what he looked like, because they say in the Christian church, they lie and say color's not in the Bible. But we're here today to show you that color is in the Bible. We're here to cast down all those lies. But read what you got. Song of Solomon chapter 1, verse 5. Read what you got. The book of Songs of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Bring it out. I am black. What did King Solomon say he is? I am black. What did he say? Black. I'm black, right? Black. But what? But comely. I'm black and handsome, right? That's what we say, right? King Solomon was the first person to say it. It's recorded in history. That's right. I'm black and handsome. Why they don't teach that in the church? If you Google King Solomon right now, a white guy is going to come up with a big beard on his face, right? right? They're lying to us, right? What about Job? Everybody heard of Job? Lil Boosie rapped about Job. Let's see what Job looked like, right? Let's see. Everybody know about Job. Let's see what he looked like. They say color's not in the Bible. I done read you, what, two, three scriptures right now, right? Let's keep going. We go all day with color, right? Read. The book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. My skin is black upon me. Say, my skin is black upon me, right? Job let you know I'm a black man, you know what I'm saying? So, if they lied to us about all that, uh, the color of Christ, the color of the real Jews, why do you think they do that? Give me a, uh, what's that, uh, uh, Judah, the, what's that, eight, not 824, 520, 520. I'm going to show you. It's crafty counsel, man, but I'm going to show you why they do this. They want to lie to you. They don't want you to know that you're the real children of God. They want to keep you in the midst of sin. Because we're going to keep getting destroyed because we're in the midst of sin. Right. But I'm going to show that to you. Read what you got. You got the book of Judah, chapter 5 and verse 20. Bring it out. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people. So this is the other nations. This is their mind frame. They're saying, if, hey, if there's any wrongdoing in this people, God's chosen people. Read and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin, 
Hey, if they sin against they God, this is going to be their ruin. This is how we going to get them, right? Because they want to get us. At, at one point, we was on top. They were jealous. Just like in Black Wall Street. You remember Tulsa, Oklahoma, like in, what, 1920s? Get out. They was jealous. They was outside looking in. It's the same thing. Nah, hey, man, the people right there, they look too good. They too fast. They too strong. We can't whoop them physically. Teach what, what do we got to do? Hey, I'm going to put dope in the hood, right? I'm going to put a church on every corner. I'm going to change their mind frame, right? I'm going to make their women stop dressing like the royalty that they were. I'm going to make them start showing all their body parts. Get out. And we're going to have single-parent households everywhere, right? That's their crafty mind frame, right? Keep going. And let us go up, and we shall overcome them. And they they overcame us. This is history. Well, hold up. Hey, little sis, step in, man. Get up out the, uh, out the sun. You got any questions for me? You know what we teaching? What we teaching? Yeah, what you think we teach? Do it. About our history, for sure. But do any one of y'all go to church? You was raised in the church, for sure. What about you, little sis? You was raised in church too. Uh, what was your religion, by the way? Christian. Christian, uh, everybody claims to be a Christian, right? But to be a Christian, you have to be a follower of Christ, right? You got to do the things that he did. For instance, uh, Leviticus 19, 27. Or 21 and 5. I'm going to show you something. Uh, to, to, to do what Christ did, Christ had a beard on his face. We just read about That's it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to show you the law that a man had to have. A, I'm going to show you why Christ had a beard on his face. Read what you got. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So this is a law for a man, right? Once you know who you are, you're an Israelite man according to the Bible. You're supposed to not make what? Make baldness upon their head. You're not supposed to get a razor and go against the grain or get some edges and go against the grain and have a Michael Jordan look, Tyrese Gibson look, right? Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. We're not supposed to shave off the corner of our beard like you got right now because you can grow it. I can see the stubble, right? We're supposed to have a full beard on our face, read. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. You're not supposed to make any cuttings in your flesh. Tattoos, right? That's common amongst our people to get tattoos, right? Get tatted up. I want a shirt, right? They teach that, right? The other nations put it in our mind to do that, right? They got that from the Egyptians. We're not the Egyptians. We God's chosen people. We're above the Egyptians, right? right. Read what you got. Uh, matter of fact, get a... Uh, finish that, finish that. That was it. That was it. All right, so we're not supposed to have tattoos. We're not supposed to shave our face, right? Look, sis. Let me uh, do the run of 22. No, nah, do the run of 76. Do y'all know how God feel about y'all? You know how he feel about you? Do God love everybody first before we go down? He love everybody. You believe that for sure. What about you? God love everybody. First get Amos uh, 3 and 1. I'm going to show you that God does not love everybody. That's Christianity, which is a religion, right? It's not the Bible. That's a religion. We've been taught that in slavery, right? Turn the other cheek. You're supposed to turn the other cheek to your brother that looks just like you. That's right. But I'll prove it to you. Read what you got. The book of Amos, chapter 3, and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. So he's speaking to you, children of Israel. Hey, sis, where you see yourself on this sign right here? Do you see yourself on this sign? No. What's your father, by the way? You see your father on this sign. What would he call himself? A so-called black man. He, uh, he's a... a he died before you was born. You, you don't know nothing about him, though? Like, what he looked like or nothing? What he looked like? He looked like us, right? A black man. So, according to the Bible, you will be from the tribe of Judah. So that's what we're talking to right now, the Israelites. But you from the tribe of Judah. We the Jews. Read. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. So right now, what I'm about to read to you, he's speaking to y'all. Y'all the children of Israel, right? Read. Against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Saying. So he brought us up out of the land of Egypt. Y'all familiar with Moses? He uh, told Pharaoh, let my people go. They parted the Red Sea and they left up out of Egypt, right? Read. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. God says he only knows y'all out of all the families of the earth that he created. Out of all the people. He only dealt with y'all. Y'all right. his people. Read. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Therefore, when y'all sin, I'm going to whoop y'all butt. For instance, when a man shave off his face, that's considered a sin. He whoop our butt for that. When you eat food that you're not supposed to eat, like pork, uh, shrimp, crab, lobster, he whoop our butt for that. We get high blood pressure, uh, different diseases, right? Diabetes, gout, right? We have to go in and out the hospital taking blood pressure medicines and things. He whooping our butt because we ain't supposed to do it. But the so-called other nations, they can eat all the unclean food they want and they ain't in the hospital. Right? Keep going. What's going on, Victoria? 
verse 3. Can two walk together? My man, go to uh, Joel 2.27. So right now we just proved right. that he only dealing with us out of all the people that he created. Hey, what's going on, big bro? What's your name, man? Meach. Meach? You know what we have been teaching, man? You heard this before? The Israelites, God chose me. So my question to them was, do God love everybody? You believe that? You believe that? Read that scripture one more time, and then we're going to go. One more time. Yeah, Amos, one more time. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. God says he only knows you out of all the families that he created. Asian man, uh, Chinese man, East Indian with the red dot. He only knows you, black man. Read. That's right. Therefore, I will punish you for all, all your iniquities. That's why we get shot down. That's why we lead statistically in diseases, cancer rates, no matter what it is. We lead in all the bad statistics, right? Because God is punishing us. Only us, right? Keep going. Uh, yeah, Joel 227. So he just said he only dealing with us. I'm gonna show you more scripture that prove he only dealing with us. He only love us, bro. The book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. And ye shall know that I am the I am in the midst of Israel. So this is God speaking. He said he in the midst of Israel. The people on the sign right here. You see yourself on the sign right here, bro? Well, you see your dad at on that sign right there. No. What, what, what would he be, a so-called black man, or uh, uh, Indian man, or uh, uh, Haitian? What would he be? What would your dad be? Black man. So, hey, right here. A Jew. You a Jew, according to the Bible, from the tribe of Judah, right? That's right. That's so, we begin. Watch this. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. So, God is saying he's in the midst of us right now. He's standing amongst us right now, spiritually, right? Read. And that I am the Lord your God. He's your God. Did that say everybody God? Everybody? Your God, right? Read. And none else. And everybody else. And none else. He's he your God and nobody else, right? Read. And my people shall never be ashamed. Say, we ain't gonna never be ashamed. Now, right now, we might be a little ashamed, right? They kill us down, ain't nothing we can do about it, right? These are curses from God, right? That's right. But when Christ come back and give us back that power, oh, it's going down. You know what I'm saying? But well, watch this. Go to uh, that song, what's that, 148, 17? Yes, sir. So, I'm gonna give you one more scripture to prove that he's only dealing with us, and then we're gonna deal with the real. Psalms 148. Read what you got. He showed his word unto Jacob. Right. He gave the word, the Bible, the law, statutes, and commandments, the things that make us different from everybody else. He gave it to us, right? His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. He ain't never dealt with anybody else but us. Anytime you read the scripture, he ain't never dealt with a Hittite or Moabite. He only dealt with Israel, right? From Egypt all the way to Revelation. He's only been dealing with us, right? It's just in these last days, we don't know who we are anymore. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.